Genesis 31, verse 1. Jacob flees from Laban. Now Jacob heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and from what was our father's he has acquired all this wealth. And Jacob saw the countenance of Laban, and indeed it was not favorable toward him as before. And the Lord said to Jacob, Return to the land of your fathers and to your family, and I will be with you. So Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field to his flock and said to them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not favorable toward me as before. But the God of my father has been with me. And you know that with all my might I have served your father. Yet your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God did not allow him to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckled shall be your wages, then all the flocks bore speckled. And if he said thus, the streaked shall be your wages, then all the flocks shall be streaked. So God has taken away the livestock of your father and given them to me. And it happened at the time when the flocks conceived that I lifted my eyes and saw in a dream, and behold... The rams which leaped upon the flocks were streaked, speckled, and gray-spotted. And the angel of God spoke to me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift your eyes now and see. All the rams which leap on the flocks are streaked, speckled, and gray-spotted. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. I am the God of Bethel, where you anointed the pillar, and where you made a vow to me. Now arise, get out of the land, and return to the land of your family. And Rachel and Leah answered and said to him, Is there still any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? How are we not considered strangers by him? For he has sold us and also completely consumed our money. For all these riches which God has taken from our father are really ours and, and our children's. Now then, whatever God has said to you, do it. Then Jacob rose and set his sons and his wives on camels, and he carried away all his livestock and all his possessions which he had gained, his acquired livestock which he had gained in Padan Aram, to go to his father Isaac in the land of Canaan. Now Laban had gone to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the household idols that were her father's. And Jacob stole away, unknown to Laban the Syrian, and that he did not tell him that he intended to flee. So he fled with all that he had. He arose and crossed the river and headed toward the mountains of Gilead.